Starting today, some new traffic changes will impact people in Bryan County as detours are made along with the continuing $19 million I-95 project. News 3's Jessica Coombs has your Need to Know report live in Richmond Hill this morning. Jessica, what changes are being made? Good morning. Good morning, Ben and Kim. Right now, the bridge is officially closed over I-95. Belfast Keller Road is closed, but two new interstate on-ramps are officially open. Those two new ramps will help enable Belfast Keller Road traffic to merge onto I-95. Motorists on the east side of the interstate will be able to enter northbound, and vehicles on the west side can enter southbound. Carter Infinger, the chairman of the Bryan County Board of Commissioners, says the new on-ramp should alleviate some of the heavy traffic and and be effective in the event of a hurricane evacuation. It'd open up that end of the county for us, and it'd be a nice emergency exit during storms and things where people can, can have another way out besides really going back through Richmond Hill. So it is a great project for us. I know people are going to be frustrated because they can't use, go across that bridge right now, but in the long run, it'd be well worth it. The bridge will be closed until later in the year while they work on its replacement. But in the meantime, they say there are detour routes available via US 17, State Route 144, and Belfast River Road. Reporting live in Richmond Hill, Jessica Coombs, WSAV News 3.